All right, guys, you see those boxes. You like them, you love them. There's Bleach, there's One Piece, Full Metal Alchemist, and there's going to be some new stuff dropping. This is Dueling Guards products. This is Mr. Extra from Team Extra. Capital T, capital X at checkout. Team Extra, one word. Go pick yourself up a deck box, a set. They do mats and binders, too. Check it out. All right, guys, let's go. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Mr. Extra from Team Extra. I am playing Scarecrow Mana Deem on the left. My opponent is playing Flanderies on the right because they are a menace. But let's go ahead and run it, guys. All right, so if I recall correctly, I do lose this dice roll here. So let's run it. He's going to go map. He's going to do the Eaglin and Rubina. Bring Rubina back. Grab Rubina. Rubina. Has the EMPN. Puts out EMPN. EMPN back. He does a whole bunch of disgusting stuff here, guys. Eaglin. Prosperity. Grabs Advent on Prosperity. Duality. Personally, I, if you guys have watched the channel, you're like a veteran subscriber, you know how I feel about birds. Birds and Cash Jira hold about the same amount of hatred. Advent Pitch and Pen Special, game 500, get the stream rotation as well. And Street Banish, uh, Toucan and Pen. First Impen starts Dreaming Town, this Impen is also searching Dreaming Town. I asked if Dreaming Town wants to return. The second effect is the graveyard effect is. The other effect? No. Disgusting. So, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and go Calarium. I'm gonna attempt to play through this board, which is double Impen, double Dreaming Town, and map. Alright, we're gonna grab Room Hot. Room Hot, the second posted boy of the deck. First one being Vices, obviously. Alright, Room Hot, normal summon, effect, search. He's going to map. He's gonna do the map things, Toucan. My search will still resolve. He's gonna rotate him back, Eaglin. Rotate back, Rubina. I like this deck. This deck needs to go personally, but just I'm just not a fan of it. It breaks up a lot. I've seen brick hands for flow. That's the only thing keeping it from getting affected, really, in my opinion. Uh, rise up. He's gonna rise up. Do the rise up thing to me. I'm gonna put Rumor on top of the deck. And then he put a. Uh, I think he put a Dream Count on top of the deck. And then I just go ahead and scoop. I lost dice roll. He sat up uh, double MP, double Dreaming Town, plus Rise of Cycle and Map. I'm not playing through that outside of Dark Ruler, and even a Dark Ruler won't play through the double Dreaming Town plus the uh, Map guys. There was no way around that. So essentially, if I won dice roll, would have been alright. But I mean, Scarecrow Mana Demon is a deck that um, it has to win dice roll. So you better get really good at rolling dice, or however you do the approach of that, or flip coin or something. Flipping coins half, rolling dice is like the smallest percentage of it, half actually. You pull out the class D20. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle up. By the way, look at those um, blue sleeves, they actually kinda like them, the player choice ones, which I haven't seen those in a very long time. Alright, let's get it guys. Go to game two. Alright, we're gonna go clear him again. If we're Calarium, we're gonna win. Like, Calarium is a great card, amazing card. Uh, normal Rim, Rim Effect. We're gonna get a Meek. We got that Vices because of Calarium. Special Meek. Obsidian Pop Meek. So, we're gonna use Obsidian to get uh, the Trap card because Calarium's on the field and the Obsidian is being used, but Calarium's already out. You can grab it just to spell or trap in general. The Meek in the corner by Calarium should be level 4. There you go. We're gonna sink 8. Negate and um, Excel. Go jump right into. We don't care about Nim. Dust Peter. Vices. Pop Meek. Special Vices. Special Meek. 
I believe he had don't make that one level four. Link, light heart, another effect. Let's go grab Rick Phobia. Phobia. We grab right card. Right card, right card effect. We grab right. Alright, alright. Let's see where we've got one here. Personally, I love drawing, so I think I'm going to try. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go and uh, try a master. I draw a card. This card's actually really cool, especially like Coach Dan, because then we can utilize the extra effects, because it's like an in sequence thing. Kind of like Cross Sheep, we drew our card, card is probably spicy. Uh, make the Cross Sheep. Uh, banish, Banish. Drop an Astral Owl, Cross Sheep Effect, grab Meek back. Make Baran. Uh, Peter, bring back Vices. Arrival, bring back Freikart. Because I can make, like, Chaos Angels... Chaos Angel does not really work against this deck, so... Pretty sure I'm not going to end up making that. We're going to go ahead and make a 3 mad Apo, though. And then we're going to set the reframing and pass. He's going to... Go Duality. Cool. I draw him after that duality. You see that throw gets slammed down. He's gonna go advent. That's fine. Grabs a toucan. Dark ruler, reframing the stop dark ruler. Which that puts us uh game two, so we are up one one. No, we're tied now. Flow one game one. Scarecrow mana DM one game two, guys. So we are going to go into the delicious game three, the more important game three, guys. Just, we'll see what happens here. Whatever happens, happens, you know? And typically, this is like, when I do my matchup against birds, right? Especially birds, I I want to win the dice roll. Because game one, if I win the dice roll, I'm cool against birds. Because game two, they'll probably set up in pen and Dreaming Town, whatever. But then game two, I can also have the attempt to evenly them, or lightning storm them, or draw them. And then game three, I'll set up, I'll still end up keeping draw in the deck, and then I set up Tikaboo. And then at that point, we just kind of win, because birds struggle playing Tikaboo, unless they do something very saucy to just get a bird off the field. So you just strap them down, lock them into their Rabina, and then laugh at them. Let's go to game three. He's in good duality, craziness. Grabs a map. That glare is a little bothersome, but I mean, I'll let you all know what the cards are 90% of the time, especially. Map, uh, reveal Eagle and pitch Toucan. <coughs> Normally, Eagle and grab Toucan back, because, you know, disgusting. Eagle going to grab EMPM, Rabina. Rabina's going to grab Stree. Going to EMPM. Grab back the. He would be able to grab back Eagle in the Sun of Rubina. And he grabbed back Rubina. No, he, he didn't use either. He started off with the um, Toucan, but whichever. Eaglin. Eaglin. Well, Impin. Impin. Eaglin. Impin grabs uh, on Sword Winds. Which means he's already got Dreaming Town. He doesn't need to grab three. Probably open them. Then he goes Stree. Stree pull back. He's got Stree Toucan on the field at this point. He's used pretty much every little bird that I can think of. Another M Pan. He's going to obviously start Dreaming Town. That card is just disgusting. I really hope they do something with that card eventually. Nice Sport wins. Shuffle those back. Move on Sport wins. He's going to draw. He's going to set a bunch of cards. And then he's going to Feather Storm me in the draw phase. And then flick it at me. How dare he. That Feather Storm right there kind of... Ah, uh, Feather Storm's disgusting, guys. Personally, out like I remember my hand. My hand's pretty good, but outside of that Feather Storm, I really, really can't do anything here. So let's see. I think really hard. Man, I know some right card. He's gonna go map because I already know he's gonna map, and then 
you know, shut me out right here. Because that, that, uh, I thought it was I'm going Dark Ruler. But I have no clapback. That, that's it. 